For even more content and MP3s from Ultra Hypnosis, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link in the video description. So this recording is a little something different. It is not strictly a hypnosis recording, but instead it is a stress reduction technique that you might find extremely helpful for when you want to go into trance and experience hypnosis, but other things prevent you from getting nice and relaxed and letting go of everything so you can just drift off into a peaceful state of trance, because sometimes you can feel as if there's all this negative energy or feelings spinning around inside your body or mind, and that spinning sensation is something very important to focus on, because I'm going to give you a quick technique to help you negate that spinning sensation and to let all that stress flow out of you, to let go of it, so that you can then drift off peacefully into trance. If that sounds good to you, please keep on listening. All you have to do is follow my instructions, okay? It'll be very simple. Now, I want you to imagine a time where you felt really stressed, and there is no way that you are letting go of that stress. Even if you tried just breathing in and out slowly and deeply, focusing on your breathing, it might not have helped. It might not have been enough. All of that stress was just flowing through you, spiraling around. And what I want you to do is focus on that spiraling, spinning sensation. I want you to imagine very vividly, or if you're feeling a little stressed out right now, maybe not imagine what direction that stressful energy was spinning around in. Focus on it. It could be swirling up, down, side to side. It doesn't really matter. Focus on the direction that that stress is spinning in, and then also focus on what part of your body or mind that stress is located in. It could be in your stomach, right in between your eyes, your shoulders, maybe even your legs or your chest. It doesn't really matter where that stress is or where it was. What matters is that you can locate where it was, and you can imagine which way it's spinning, which way it's flowing. Now that you're imagining which way the stress is flowing, I want you to take your non-dominant hand the hand that you use the least often, and imitate the flow, the spin, the spiraling pattern of that stress. You're doing very well. Just keep on imitating that spin right now. And as you focus on imitating the spin of that stressful energy with your non-dominant hand, I want you to imagine that that stressful energy is floating out of your body and mind, out of you, and in front of you, right next to your non-dominant hand. I am sure that you can imagine that very vividly for me. You're doing great. We're almost done. Now take your dominant hand and hold it out in front of you. And as you look at all this spiraling, 
stressful energy, I want you to take your dominant hand and start moving it in the opposite direction of all this stressful energy. And you will be pleasantly surprised by how easily your dominant hand moves in the opposite direction of the stressful spinning energy easily and effortlessly. It's as if your mind and body knows how it would rather be. It's as if, deep down, you know which way you want this energy to flow. And as your dominant hand starts moving in this fashion, counter to the spinning stressful energy, you notice that it becomes more and more difficult to keep your non-dominant hand matching the stressful energy. It's as if you're ready to let go, to breathe out, to push away this stressful energy, to exhale it, to blow it away, to let go and cast it off. And one of the best ways to cast off all this stressful energy is with a laugh. So I am going to count down from three to one. And when I reach one, I want you to push out with both your hands, your fingertips outstretched, pushing away this stressful energy as you exhale and laugh. You can do it, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe that wasn't my real laugh. But it definitely caught you to laugh a bit, didn't it? And I'm sure that you feel much better right now. Because sometimes just the simplest things can help you feel so much better in every single way. Sometimes it is very simple to realize that you have the control to reverse the feelings that you're experiencing. I'm sure this helped you very much. And I'm glad that I had the chance to help you. Thank you very much for listening, and have a much better day.